this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with some scraps here, um, left over from a mass making session that we did recently. And I'm really trying, well, I was going to say to keep on top of my desk. I <laughs> have to say, if anyone was in my room right now and saw my desk, you would just laugh your head off and think, well, she's failing miserably because my desk is absolutely appalling. But I thought small steps. So if I start by actually trying to clear as I go, I, you know, when we've done a mass making session, use my scraps straight away, then hopefully I'm not going to accumulate even more mess. That's the plan. So I've got some envelopes here and I thought, let's just come along. We will maybe line some envelopes and things. Oops, they are, they, they are not envelopes. Um, they are cards, but yes, we would just line some envelopes and things, maybe do, I don't know, some other little bits and pieces. Just basically using up some of these bits so they're no longer laying around on my desk. Instead, they're going to be envelope forms that are going to be laying around on my desk. So yeah, we're just, just transforming them into another form, basically. So yeah, let's just take my envelopes. Now, I have to say, I do love a lined envelope I think it looks really pretty and um, it's not something that I especially enjoy lining envelopes because I find it a little bit fiddly sometimes so this is going to be a kind of double um, you know double bonus because to be honest not only am I going to get rid of these scraps and no longer have them laying around on the desk but I'm also going to have a bunch of lined envelopes ready to use which is you know a, a job that I don't especially enjoy so let's just check that this is going to go in here. So what I might do is do these a bit assembly line style like we do in the mass making where I do all the similar stages, you know, together. So, for instance, cut them all down, cut, uh, cut them all down to size and then glue them all in, you know, so that we're doing it in a, you know, organised manner rather than chaotically. So, yeah, let's just take this down. Okie dokie. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Maybe you're doing some crafting. Do share below what you're working on. I know I say this all the time, but honestly, it's so helpful to just, you know, give inspiration and things of what, you know, what you're working on. Because if anyone's having a bit of a, um, you know, dry crafting spell, it really can spark creativity and, you know, inspiration. So... Right, this one, I'm going to cut this down because I don't really want this weird half a woman on there. So I'm just going to cut this down so that it's, you know, in here slightly more. I'll just put that in like that. And it doesn't matter if it's not covering the entire flap because, to be honest, I can always cut the flap down. So, I mean, obviously, you, you know, we have still got her arm slightly, but it's not too, too bad. So just a little bit just a little bit there so like that okay let's do another one. Oh, it's really warm weather here today really 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 warm so it was warm as soon as I went out this morning I went to the gym and you know that was at six o'clock this morning it was already stifling so I don't know what the temperature actually was, to be honest. I should have looked at my temperature gauge in the car and I forgot to look. Um, but yeah, since I've taken my daughter to school, oh my goodness, it's so warm in the house. So, and I've got the windows closed here at the front of the house. That's where my room is because of course <laughs> I don't want to, um, you know, have all the traffic noise going past because we are on the main road. But yeah, I probably could have done with actually opening the windows because my goodness, it's really hot really hot but anyway I'm not I'm not complaining I must not moan I seem to spend all my time moaning about the weather it's too cold then it's too hot you know too wet too windy too snowy whatever it is you know I'm moaning about it so yeah I mustn't do that but yeah it's definitely very 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 warm today I think the reason that we find it very warm over here in the UK, we're just not geared up for it, to be honest. You know, we don't kind of have air conditioning in places, you know. Um, I mean, cars, they, I guess, have air conditioning. Um, but definitely, you know, in people's houses. So these are smaller envelopes, so which is quite nice because hopefully I will be able to do this way because 
these obviously the envelope has to be up a certain way because the paper's directional but when the flap is smaller I can put them this way and then obviously the envelope could go you know either side um yeah we're not geared up for it here in the UK we don't kind of have air conditioning in in the houses or anything like that um even shops to be honest a lot of shops don't have air conditioning restaurants well I guess some restaurants have air conditioning but not all of them so yeah we're kind of um <laughs> lagging behind a little bit because we you know it's not really necessary we don't have so much lovely weather or you know so many months worth of lovely weather that it kind of requires all of those things but having said that the temperatures obviously they are getting hotter and hotter every year so when we do then have a hot spell it is very 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 hot and um you know it becomes a bit of a sort of struggle to be I need to cut that down slightly more um to be outside at all uh to be inside sorry at all you know when you're inside in your house it's just airless and boiling I mean actually the nicest place to be is the car ironically because that has got air conditioning that being said <laughs> in the winter I find the car is the nicest place to be also because that's got the heating and you know with the problems with the gas and electric prices and things I mean my house is not the warmest house anyway because it's quite an old house so if the heating is not on all the time in the winter it's you know it just doesn't really warm up unfortunately so yeah sometimes in the winter I find the best place or the nicest place to be is actually in the car with the uh, heater blasting out and even with the price of petrol being as it is I'm probably still you know it's probably still cheaper being in the car than it is being in the house so yeah crazy situation isn't it crazy world that we're living in at the moment but okay so this is my Great Expectations papers, which I just really, really love these. So I've used a bit of a variety of papers actually here. So, and I know that, you know, I have said lots of times recently, I'm trying to make an effort to tell people which papers I'm using because otherwise I do get requests. Now the first one, unfortunately, oh, Melrose Place. Oh, I couldn't remember the name for it. Melrose Place. Uh, this is my French collection papers. This is the um, oh, uh, Paris Bouquet, I think they're called. This is the Victorian Scrapbook Collection. And then both of these are from the Great Expectations kits. So, yeah, that's what those are. Okie dokie. Oh, that's a shame. That one's only a tiny piece. So what I might do, rather than just waste this, I might just tear it down ready for a little decorative edge kind of strip. I mean, as if I need to actually be, as if I need to be hoarding anything else. Yeah, so we can use that as the um, decorative edge strip. I mean, as if I need to be hoarding anything else. That's just ridiculous, isn't it? But, you know, didn't want to just waste it. Okay. Mm -mm. Put that down a bit. Okay. Mm. There we go. Right. So I've got rid of quite a lot of these already, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Really, perhaps I should get in the habit of doing this every time that we do a mass making is then just the next day, or you know, maybe later that week use the leftover scraps to do something else you know even if it is just line the envelopes or I don't know make scrappy pads or I mean I guess it will be dependent on the type of scraps that I have left but that would be you know possibly quite a good thing to do wouldn't it so that one I'm not sure mm. oh I will use it yeah I will use that so yeah let's just cut that down Okay, just take that down just a fraction here. So again, these are the Victorian scrapbook and this here is the curator's collection. It's the set three or the third, the third edition of that. 
of the um, curator's collection collections. Oh, come on. Right. Okay. Okay, not too many more now. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this has been really um, productive to actually come along and, you know, straight away be utilising these. You know, if I actually did this all the time after each thing I do, I I would have quite a clutter-free desk. I mean, the likelihood of doing that is obviously extremely unlikely. Uh, that one was the Gilded Blues set, by the way, if you were wondering what that was. So yeah, I mean, how's everyone else's desk? So are they full of scraps and clutter or are your desks doing okay? I mean, mine is oh, just out of control at the moment. I don't know what's going on with it, but it might be time for another X-Files soon. It's um, definitely, definitely seen better days. Right, so that's those. Now, these ones, these are bigger pieces so I'm just going to put these to one side because um you know otherwise we'll be here kind of all day just lining envelopes and um, I might be able to use those for something slightly different so yeah we'll, we'll give them a chance for something else right let's line our envelopes okay I think we're going to have a barbecue tonight so um I mean, I always struggle a bit with barbecue food, to be honest. I mean, some people are very adventurous with their barbecues, aren't they? And they have all sorts of amazing things. I mean, no, I'm not adventurous at all. We have, you know, <laughs> burgers and sausages. And that's pretty much it. Burgers and sausages, you know, with some burger buns, with some sausage, not sausage rolls, but, you know, the rolls for like hot dog, hot dog type rolls. Um, and that's pretty much it, I have to say. So, yeah, need to get more adventurous with my barbecuing skills. I mean, we're just using like a disposable barbecue. You know, you buy the disposable ones. They're pretty good, actually. I mean, obviously, you know, there's only four of us. So it's not like we need a really big barbecue or anything like that. So those, you know, those small disposable ones, they can fit, I don't know. I don't know actually how many burgers you'd get on one of those at a time, but maybe six. I don't know. Quite a few. Anyway, more than enough, you know, that what we need. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a barbecue tonight. So, well, providing that the weather doesn't suddenly deteriorate. I mean, obviously, there's always a chance it could suddenly pour with rain, isn't it? But providing it doesn't. We are planning on having a barbecue. And I have to say, last night we had um, strawberries and cream. Now, I didn't have cream. I had just yoghurt with my strawberries. Um, a soya, blueberry soya yoghurt, which was absolutely delicious with my, blue, uh, my strawberries. But everybody else had strawberries and cream and meringue. So it was like a little pavlova. Um, oh, my goodness. They were the nicest strawberries that I've had for years. I don't know about you guys, but... I mean, I love strawberries, but for the last few years, I've really not enjoyed them very much at all. They have not been very sweet. They haven't been very kind of juicy. They've just been really rubbish. And, you know, quite often you buy them and they're not ripe enough. They're sort of green or, you know, they're just slushy and too ripe. And yeah, just not really good. But, oh my goodness, the ones that we had yesterday, absolutely delicious. So, yeah, and we have got some left So because they were on, you know, two for three pounds or whatever. So uh, we bought two punnets and uh, obviously I'd cut them into quarters to be able to put them on the meringues with the cream. So there's plenty left. So, yeah, we shall have strawberries. Well, 
I shall have strawberries and yogurt. They will have strawberries and cream again tonight. So after the barbecue, I can't wait. I have, I have to be honest, I'm sort of salivating just thinking about them even now. So yummy. Oh, I remember as a child, you know, doing like the pick your own. You don't really see very many pick your own strawberry fields anymore, do you? Um, I'm not even too sure when our, where our nearest one would be now. I mean, they've sort of all closed down, which is a shame. But yeah, fun memories of, you know, when you're a child and you go around picking your own strawberries. And obviously, obviously you're a child and so you're picking them and eating them. I mean, presumably that's why most of the fields are now closed. But yeah, oh, good memories that was. Although, to be honest, you know, we laughed about it last night and we said, well, you know, they're, they're nicer from the shop anyway where they're chilled because we'd obviously come home and put them in the fridge. They're chilled, they're clean, they're not, they're not direct from the field and, of course, warm because those memories of, you know, the pick your own, they're obviously, they're very warm, aren't they? Because you tend to do it on a hot summer's day, which actually, that's not all that nice, is it? But it was fun. But the last time I did it, actually, was a long time ago. I mean, my eldest son, I think, I think it was when he was, a, you know, t not a toddler, but maybe like three or four. Um, and I can just remember taking him to a pick-your-own field. It was so hot. And, oh, my goodness, it was so much money. It was something like seven pounds, you know, for our little basket of strawberries by the end. So, yeah, not really very affordable. I guess they have to factor in how many are eaten as people are going round the field. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't particularly cost effective, but sort of nice memories to remember him, you know, picking them and eating them. He thought it was great fun, obviously. It was just me and him. I might might have even been pregnant with my my middle son. I don't know. But, yeah. Nice, nice memories. But, do you know, I honestly think that was maybe the last time I went strawberry picking. So that is how long ago that was. I mean, he's 20 now. So, yeah, must have been kind of like 16 years ago or something. Long, long, long time ago. The time just goes so quickly, doesn't it? Really, really fast. Just flabbergasting, really. I don't know if he'd even remember, to be honest, that day, but yeah, I, I can just remember it because uh, he had a really nice time. And obviously when you've just got one child, you know, he was my oldest child, I don't know, you've just got so much time, haven't you, to spend with just that one child, so yeah, just really remember it. But anyway, like I say, long time ago now. And to be honest, the strawberries, I'm sure, were probably nicer that we had yesterday than the ones direct from the field, all warm. <laughs> warm and not very clean. Okay. Oh, the dog's coming to join me now. She was downstairs. My son's down there in the kitchen. And she was downstairs and she's decided to come up. So she's come up and she's in her bed now. Oh, just love her. Okay, right. Let's just go over the crease. So this one I need to cut down. So I'm just kind of going, you know, so far. And then obviously I'll have to cut it down. So, But this is, of course, one of the ones that's now going to have to be this, you know, the other way up. Because, of course, we've got the writing going a certain direction. So there we go. Oops. A bit more. Oh, come on. This is why I don't really enjoy lining envelopes. I find them pretty fiddly, if I'm truthful. So, yeah, pretty fiddly. So I will be pleased to have a whole bunch done. I'll probably lose them. You know, won't actually be able to find them. But it will be good to have a whole bunch of them done. Oh, now I've lucked this one up, I think. Inside, it's a bit creased. Oh well, it's, it's fine. I'll just 
Just do it from the back as well. Okay, and this one, oh. So then just go over this one. Okay, so obviously I'm filming ahead and I know I do say this all the time. Um, but yeah, for anyone who doesn't watch my channel, if you think I'm lying, you know, because the weather is perhaps terrible where you are now if you're in the UK. Um, yeah, I'm filming this ahead. We are in the summer and it's gorgeous weather right now. So, yeah. I always do like to say that because obviously I don't know what my um, upload schedule will be. And often things can get interrupted, you know, end up having other things going up sort of in oops in place so it's always really good to you know mention that I am filming a hit because I don't want people watching thinking well she's absolutely making that up because it's not that weather at all okay. got another slight crease going on here I think not doing very well with these lining of the envelopes I mean like I say it's not really my favorite thing to do and actually what I should have been doing is folding them over as well because sometimes I think it's actually easier to fold them whilst they're still wet so perhaps I should just quickly go back through and fold them over oops oh, come on. oh gosh I can't actually see now where that fold even is there it is I think Okay, let's push that down. Okay. Right, I haven't decided how I'm going to use these envelopes yet. So I might decorate one or two, um, but I might keep one or two for maybe like, you know, when I make folios and things like that, they're always quite handy to have some lined envelopes going to folios. So yeah, I'm not sure. I might, um, you know, might do sort of a couple of different options with them. So let's just do that. Um, this one okay right, let's quickly do the last couple Oops. And I've got this one come on Oh, do you know, I've been so good. I haven't really been to a car boot sale hardly at all this whole summer. So I'm thinking maybe at the weekend, it's Tuesday right now, um, I might have to go to one. Just got a bit of an urge to go to a car boot sale. So if you don't live in the UK, a car boot sale probably for us is similar to your flea markets. Um, you know, they're where obviously people are, you know, getting rid of their old things. So, yeah. Sometimes you can get some good things. I mean, obviously it's it's hit and miss because I mean it depends who's there on the day. You know, sometimes you might get some really good things. Other times maybe not. You know, it just depends really on the day. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I normally end up coming away with something. You know, even if it's just one thing, there's normally at least one thing that I end up buying. So yeah, might have go this weekend I mean I guess it will depend on the weather I mean if it's really hot like today is I don't know if I really fancy walking around a car beat cell um and equally obviously if it's raining well to be fair if it's raining they don't really tend to be on um you know because of course nobody wants to do one in the rain and nobody wants to be looking around in the rain so I think I've only been to one this whole year in fact so far been really really good trying not to go 
So, yeah. But I have missed it, and now I've just got this urge now to go to one, so might have to. Okay. There we go. Okay, just squish this one down, and then, yep, again, just do that fold right now before it gets stiffer. I mean, I don't know. Let me know below. What do you think? Do you tend to fold your folds when they're wet or do you wait until they're dried? Weirdly, when I first started making journals, I always waited until they were dry. But strangely enough, I actually think it is better to do it when it's wet these days. What do you find? I mean, there's probably no right or wrong, but yeah, just intrigued now to know what, what other people think. Wet or dry, which is the best way to do your fold? Oops. Come on, squish down. That's it. Okay. I don't know if I've got that very straight, to be honest. Probably doesn't really matter. Okay. last one so yeah done quite well you know we have we have used all of those bits I mean I've kept the bigger bits which actually this was one of the bigger bits as well wasn't it but yeah so we can still come back and do something with those bigger pieces as well but I'm feeling quite pleased with myself and thinking wow we've actually managed to use all of these scraps which you know, that can only be a good thing, can't it? To have not left them. Because what would happen if I left them, you know, within about three days, they'd be absolutely buried under everything else and wouldn't be found again until, you know, probably my next x series or something like that. So, yeah, it's good to, to get rid of them right now. Okay. Like that. Something quite relaxing about this as well just lining the envelopes they feel quite relaxing to do so all right let's just fold that one down okay okie dokie so not a bad job not a bad job at all now some of these envelopes what I could do is kind of marry them up so that they've got patterned paper on the envelope that matches the inside lining so let me see if I've got one here, you know, that's going to work. Um, let's see, let's see. No, no, no. Oh, just looking for the one with the, yeah, this one with the curator's collection. So, for example, you know, if I had this then on a page, I could, you know, attach the flap, however, on the page. And then if I lined the envelope here, that then is tied in with the inside, which is rather nice, isn't it? So let's just do that. I'm actually thinking maybe go for the planer, the planer edge, I think. So yeah, we'll just go along there. Let's fold that up. Okay, I don't know where the dog's been, but she's wandered off somewhere. She's come back in now. Okay. So, I mean, this is great because this is now using even more of those scraps. Oh, I'm feeling really pleased with myself. Like, oh, I've actually used some of my scraps up. Which is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, why don't I just use them up all the time? Why don't I do this all the time? Oh, can you hear her just um, kind of groaning? She does that, obviously, when she can just hear me and I'm disturbing her sleep. I mean, she's only just that second come in, but she's obviously trying to get to sleep. So I think that's when she groans, when she's like, oh, be quiet, you're disturbing me. <laughs> yeah, sorry if you can hear her. 
it has grown on a lot like that. But it's it's always when she is, you know, tired and trying to sleep. It's like, oh, be quiet, be quiet. Oh, gosh, I've made a terrible job of cutting here. Go down that whole edge. Try and make it look a bit better. Okay. Oh, gosh, done no better job on there than I had. Okay, right. Let's get this. Come on. Thank you. Not made a good job of any of this stuff today. I think my crafting's just really well deteriorating, maybe. Right, let's put that on like that. Oh, I can hear her now shaking. She's now given up. She's just no longer wanting to be in here with me at all. It's like, oh, you're far too noisy. Far too noisy talking about crafting. Okay. So, okay. Right, let's just mop this up. Okay. Right, let's smooth it out a little bit more. Okay, and then on the inside, I could just have one or two more bits that just tie it in again. So just take that down there. You know, just something like that, just to really bring it all together. So. Yeah, like that. Just pop that one down there. So this is brilliant, isn't it? Because, you know, we have used then that whole scrap. So I could do this with all of those envelopes if I, you know, if I um, get time. Because then that would actually get rid of those scraps and they would never even make it into my scraps basket, which, wow, wouldn't that be just like a first, you know? Let's be honest, they might not even make it into the scraps basket anyway. They might just sit sit on the desk, never actually making it into there. But Right, let's have a look and see what I've got laying around that we could possibly use. So I've got some of my um, Victorian ephemera. I think this is Victorian ephemera set. I think maybe set four or set five. I can't remember, I'm afraid, so I do apologise. But I have printed it onto this craft paper, which I love. Um, you know, it just makes it look really different. So, yeah, really love it. And doesn't that look great against that curator's collection? It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So we could have something like that on there. And then, again, I mean, I'm just pulling in things that are laying around here. So, yeah, not, you know, not overthinking it or anything else, but just pulling in any old thing that's laying about. So... We could have, this is some of that gorgeous um, paper ruffle that the lovely Mary Ann had gifted me. So I think this might be my last bit of it. Which I'm gutted because it's so lovely. I love this. I don't know whether it was brown paper bag or maybe packaging or something. But yeah, I really do love it. And she sent me a whole load of it and I've, yeah, really enjoyed using it. So, Marianne, if you are watching, thank you so, so much. I have loved, loved, loved having it. It is really lovely. Right, let's just have a look and see. I'm just seeing if I've got any, maybe red flowers or something to go with, you know, the flowers here in the flap. I don't know. Or I've got like a green wax seal, which that would go quite nicely, to be honest. So... Just try this here with the the paper ruffle, and then you could maybe have the the wax seal here or something. That's quite nice, isn't it? I wonder if we need anything else. I think some lace, because oh, everything's better with lace, isn't it? Now, I've got some blue. That's not quite right. No, not blue. Uh, okay, I've got this one. I think this is some coffee dyed. Coffee dyed lace, yeah, which is like, must coffee dye some more. 
actually, and the other thing that I must do, while the weather's still lovely, I must get out in the garden and, um, you know, food colour dye a whole batch of papers. I must do that. Because I, I do it every summer, or I've done it for the last couple of years anyway, and it's so lovely having an abundance of food coloured or, you know, coffee dyed papers. And I say both because I try and do both. Um, you know, and I like to do them in the summer when obviously it's nice weather and I can just go out in the garden and then it's all out there if I'm not making a mess in the kitchen. And um, yeah, it's such a treat then to have those papers. Oh, I think that's better actually. Um, such a treat to then have those papers ready to use. So I must do that. And at the moment, for some reason, I'm in or at risk of forgetting to do it. So yeah, I must do that. Well, not really forgetting to do it. I just haven't had time to do it. And if I'm not careful, you know, the nice weather will be gone and I won't have actually done it. So I normally try and do, you know, and I know this sounds an incredible quantity, but maybe like a whole ream of paper. Um, and I, I do the whole ream kind of like a variety of coffee dyed and some food coloured papers. Just so that then I've hopefully got enough to last me like throughout the whole winter. And it's just lovely to then have, you know, for the winter. Now I'm just being a little bit extravagant there using the hot glue, but again, it's just nice and quick then. Um, it's so lovely then to just have them all ready to use. And to be honest, you know, it sounds like a lot when I say a whole ring, but it actually really doesn't last very long. You know, before you know it, you've used it, you know, pretty quickly. Now. Yeah. I was going to have this wax seal down here, but I feel like then we've got a bit of a glut of stuff there. So maybe it's better even up here. Um, and I'm thinking, I think maybe a bow. Oh, I did have, I did have that ribbon banner. That's quite pretty. Oh, I don't know now. Uh, let's have a look and see. I've got some bows here behind me. Now I've got red, I've got ivory, and I have got blue. Let's just have a look. I was thinking the red because obviously we've got the red flower on the other side. That being said, that red flower I don't have on here. So let's just see, just see whether we want to somehow have this anywhere. Oh gosh, that's weird, isn't it? Let's just tear that down. I don't know, I don't know. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, dry throat there from um, too much chatting, obviously. So we could have that somewhere. And that's quite pretty. Or even we could have it over the top of the... Mm, I don't know, yeah. Let me just take this down. This is where I obviously end up tearing it and wishing I hadn't because it just then looks like nothing. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know whether I've actually ruined that, so. Mm. Maybe kind of have it poking out like that. Yeah, maybe like that, so. Okay. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Now, obviously I originally pulled that in because I thought, oh, that would then incorporate the red for the red bow. However, I'm now still not really convinced and now thinking, oh, perhaps we'll go for either the blue or the ivory. What do we think? Oh, again, this is where I wish I was live and I could hear you guys and hear what you're saying. Thinking the blue or the ivory, what do we think? I do like both. I think the ivory just, just literally wins slightly. So, yeah, let's do the ivory. There we go. And then just, whoops. Now, I know I say this all the time, but yeah, I tend to use my hot glue to put the wax seals down when you've got a ready-made wax seal. 
Now, I have never used anything other than hot glue. I don't know how the other glues work. Um, in my mind, I can't imagine other glues really secure in a wax seal very well. That being said, I have seen loads of other people use other glues. So, they clear, you know, it clearly does work. But I don't feel, you know, confident. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. How gorgeous is that envelope? So, I mean, literally, you could have this envelope glued down on a page like this. Opening out. And then you've got these gorgeous bits here. So, yeah, really, really pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, I might come back and um, do some other bits with the envelopes, maybe decorate them or something. Or, you know, I might do them in slow time, but just to just to use up the rest of those scraps, really. Or, who knows, I might switch the camera off, go and do the school run and things, and then completely and utterly forget what I've even said that I was going to do and then I'll just have these scraps left to use so who knows what will happen but yeah I hope that you enjoyed the process maybe it's inspired you to use some of the scraps that are perhaps laying around on your desk you know if nothing else you're going to have a bunch of envelopes ready lined ready to use you know in future projects so yeah have fun and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow thanks then bye <laughs>